everyone. Mikey Kid Outdoors here. That's so what are we doing today? Uh, spent the night in a nice 16 person seek outside TP hot tent and uh, used a hammock, uh, hammock stand out here. So I did a little bit of a pseudo hammock hot tent. <laughs> Just had a diesel heater running overnight to keep it a little warmer in here. And uh, this morning, fired up the wood stove. And make some breakfast, so let's check it out. look a lot better than the two eggs I had in my pocket earlier. Bending in to come into the teepee and uh, <laughs> crunch. <laughs> One of them popped in my pocket. I had to do a little early morning laundry. Got the eggs done. <laughs> well, let that be a lesson to you kids. Don't use a plastic fork. Bent the tines. Of course, breakfast wouldn't be breakfast without the sacred bacon. Got a little bit of ham in there too. And man, it is hot in here by the stove. I got sweat dripping right off my brow. Whew. As you can see, it is a hot one in here. Now it's time to enjoy some good breakfast. I got eggs. Got a little piece of egg there near my thumb that uh, fell on the ground. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that. And I got some ham and some bacon. And uh, I get my water boiling. I got a little bit of uh, oatmeal with some dried cherries there. I'm going to have, so I'm not going to be starving. I just turned my uh, diesel heater off. Because, man, between that running and the wood stove running in there, whew, toasty, toasty hot. So there she is. Welcome to Shangri-La. Uh, wonderful little table here. <laughs> got my coffee and my oatmeal. So I got uh, some compressed sawdust logs. No wax in them. Uh, definitely don't want to have wax or flames burning on a wood stove and clog everything up. But these unwaxed ones, they're just sawdust that's pressed together into a little log. And, you know, they work pretty good. You can get them at your local, you know, farm tractor type store. And, and I got, uh, little Rubbermaid tote with some little pieces of wood. You can kind of see some of it. A kindling I got at a sawmill and and uh, got another crate with some logs in it underneath and I got a box of uh, pine cones from the yard. Great little fire starter. 
So yeah, definitely not going to eat what's on the ground. Just because I don't trust it. Let's see one of those uh, sweet gum logs I got there. Not good for campfires, but not too bad for wood stove. Look at that thing, man. It's like something you would see in a Disney movie. You know, like some old witch or something getting riveled up. I'm melting. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it still worked. And one of the nice things, too, about that fork bending on the hot uh, pan like that, turned it into a spoon for my oatmeal. Yeah, I turn uh, adversity into opportunity. That's what I always say. Pretty good. I'm definitely toasty warm in here. <laughs> Various bips and bops here. And the orange uh, little mesh thing there. I got a titanium uh, 1600 milliliter pot and a tiny little frying pan that goes on top of it. Got a little apple juice bottle there just in case I needed it in the night, but I didn't. I uh, got my flashlight, my lighter, earplugs. Surprisingly, didn't use them last night. A uh, little remote and uh, flashlight or uh, screwdriver there. A little green handled thing and a little remote right there for the uh, heater. And I got my little uh, anchor, uh, or maybe it's Rav Power, I don't remember which one that is. A 10,000 milliamp hour uh, battery bank. And I got my trusty phone there and so. Um, a lot of little knickknacks, a little thing of water there from last night in a cup. Got my coffee down here on the ground. Hot oatmeal, cold coffee, I don't know. Seems opposite of what it should be. Nice bite. Pretty good. So after letting my uh, diesel heater cool down for a while, I decided to bring it in here. It's supposed to be raining pretty good today, at least in the forecast, if you believe the weatherman. I got my uh, two little dryer vent pieces there detached from it. Took the wires off of the battery and brought her in. That way it won't get rained on and won't be sitting outside. Nobody will see it and try to steal it. Ah, oh, this is nice. Just uh, sitting up here in the hammock a little bit. Well, laying. Uh, hopefully I don't get seasick from the back and forth motion right after eating. <laughs> but, yeah, I got to like 63, 65 or something last night. Some warm front came in from the south. I was surprised, like, man, is this hurricane weather or something? It was all breezy yesterday and uh, didn't get to enjoy it too much until later in the evening. And uh, thought, well, I'll go ahead and put the tent up, uh, have it out here for, I don't know, four or five days and just see. It'll lounge around for a while and, uh, yeah, make use of it. So after the rain comes in, it's supposed to get down to, I think, like, 28 or something tomorrow morning, so that's going to be one hell of a drop. Uh, it's supposed to be like 30-ish, probably, uh, you know, a couple days from now, and yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Probably be a nice cold, blistery morning uh, on a weekend when we got to go pick up food bags, uh, scouting for food and stuff, so fun, fun. So yeah, hot tents are nice. Um, of course, with the wood stoves, yeah, they can get 
blistering hot for a while when they're roaring. Uh, you can damp them down. When I'm cooking, I usually have them up a little bit. I just started that fire not long before I started cooking there, so it got up probably into the 90s or higher in the tent, and it's really hot there by the stove. So as you can see, I was sweating earlier. Uh, right now, it's comfortable. It's probably, I want to guess, mid-70s or so in here. So I'd say the diesel heaters, they've got their place. If you've got a insulated RV or you've got a small tent, medium-sized tent, you know, maybe a small canvas wall tent or something like 10 by 12, probably work great in those. Um, you get in one of these 16 man teepees, you're talking 21 foot radius, uh, 12 and a half feet high. That's a lot of volume, so it'll keep you from freezing, but. Yeah, you'd still want to have some insulation, I would think, if it got down to 20 or so, and I intend to find out. Figure it'll probably get me up 20 degrees or something above uh, outside temperature in a large space like this. Um, wood stove will definitely get you up probably 40 degrees minimum above outside temperature, maybe 50, just depends on the space that you got. Um, you know, sometimes it gets a little too hot in here. You gotta open the doors up and regulate the temperature. But that's all the fun and hot tenting. Make it cozy, warm, t-shirt weather, and whew. But you do gotta watch it though, because if you're sweating and it's winter time, that'll come back to bite you. On the flip side, you can dry your laundry and everything out too while you're in a hot tent. So. Yeah, you put a little uh, line up somewhere, you know, like on little uh, hang points like that, if your tent has them. And, uh, yeah, you got places there where you can put up a laundry line and hang jackets or do like I do and get one of these little uh, lantern hanger things. Now, Cabello's, wherever I got that from, just hang it from your pole and got a jacket or something to keep it on the opposite side of the uh, stove area and dry out your jacket or whatever and yeah, a lot more heat up there since heat rises well it's getting about that time I think I need to skedaddle out of here so I've been at this for I don't know close to two hours now since I got up but yeah if you got uh, time off it's uh, nice to be able to relax in a hot tent, and uh, if you don't have time off, try to make a little bit of time here and there, because life is short. you got to enjoy it before you kick the bucket, and, you know, work is always going to be there. Uh, you'll never run out of work. <laughs> so, family obligations, home stuff, that'll always be there. yeah important thing is enjoy life do what you can find opportunities where you can when you can you know just get out there and enjoy yourself and relax a little bit takes the stress away helps heal your body up a little bit you know you get burnt out stuff's not going well for you at work or you know something kind of egging you on in life or something just Get outdoors, take a hike, go camping, you know, take an opportunity to stop and smell the roses, so to speak, and uh, you know, de-stress a bit. So, so I'm going to wrap this one up. Well, everybody, if you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, I'll probably be doing this again for maybe another day or two towards the weekend and uh, yeah, see what happens it gets cold out here I'll try to see how good that heater works but as always I'll catch you again in the outdoors thanks for watching